Well, one people. Hello, and welcome back to Kevin's Corner. Yes, Charles. Thank you for doing my intro. Well, one people, and Anytime, welcome back to boy. Kevin's Corner. Today we are going to be teaching some people, Josh, not Josh, Josh isn't here, Charles and Tom, how to draw a spanner in paint. Are you excited? Wait, let's fucking go! He sounds excited. Hype is real. <laughs> so what we're going to do is start off by looking at Bing images and looking at some spanners. So there seems to be two main types of spanners, single piece spanners and adjustable wrenches. Monkey wrench! I think wrenches, contrary to what Charles says, are a bit too complicated for this tutorial. So we were going to start in this episode with just a simple non-adjustable wrench. What colour is it? Silver, Charles. Can you see that in <laughs> paint? I can see the wrench. It has words on it. It does have... I don't know what word... It looks more like some weird symbols, but that is not the point. It looks like it says, this wrench has been up Kevin's arsehole. I don't think it has. But if it has, fine. <laughs> so, to start... Kevin draw... loves up the bum. To start drawing this wrench, we're going to start at the thing which does the knots. So select my circle tool, and oh, you, cool. as you can see, it makes ellipses. But if you press down shift, it makes circles. Oh shit, this is some next level paint skills. I'm so, learning so much. Now that is the plan here. So Thank that... you, Kevin, for teaching me how to draw a circle in paint. Good, so now what we need to do is draw a slightly bigger circle. No, I fucked that, haven't I? No, you can move it after you've done it, can't you? Yes! Boom! <laughs> uh, I'm, supposed I'm to helping out! I'm supposed to be teaching you, but that's not the point. <laughs> and look, so that is that. Sexy, it looks like a tyre. It does, whereas it's a spanner which could change a tyre, perhaps. Unlike oh. So now let's get my rectangle tool, which is the one that looks like a rectangle, and draw a rectangle attached to my circle. How do you rotate it? How do you rotate a rectangle? You don't, you just choose what size rectangle you want. Okay, sir. So that is that. Now on this side, I need the spannery spot of the spanner, which I think is going to be best done. Polygon tool! Polygon tool! I'm in charge here, but let's do a polygon tool. So... Out we go a bit. Yeah? You like that it? That is a sexy polygon. Oh, it is arousing me. Oh, I don't want to arouse you too much, but... A little bit is fine. So, uh, okay, we're back. We had a few small technical difficulties, but now we can finish off drawing this spanner in paint. And I'm I ready. Think we have the outline here. You're quite liking with that outline, are you? It's a sexy outline. So yeah, I'd wank to the outline. We now just need to colour it in with the fill tool. If you have any questions, can you about... give my channel a shout out in the comments so that I can get 27,000 views instead of 22. So, I fucked that, haven't I? I wasn't supposed to fill in this bit. Let me just sort that out by selecting the circle tool again, drawing a white circle, resizing it, using the shift again, but the shift doesn't work. Never mind. It's slightly in the wrong place now, but that's not the point. And that is how you draw a spanner in paint. Oh damn, that is a fit spanner. Have you learned something? I have learned so much. Tom, if you learnt something, you're being very quiet. I don't think the texture's right. Okay, no, fair it's point. Little, it needs little swivels of, uh, like, little darker bits. I, I, I agree, Tom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the brush tool, and what do we think? No, spray paint tool, spray paint tool! Spray paint tool, spray paint tool. Uh, I need to change the size to big, big boy. Oh, yes. Need to do a bit of brown for the occasional bit of rust as well. Ah, I do love rusty steel. Not stainless round here. <laughs> no. Okay. 
Does that look better, Tom? <laughs> Further. Sure. <laughs> Looks so much better. Tom, I, I'm glad that we have your approval on this video. So, if you two have learned something, I have succeeded in my life goal. I can so now much. Die a happy man. Do you have any further questions or comments? Um, can this be applied to wrenches? Uh, a, a similar skill set would be required, just with a bit more detail, yes. Can, this get me can my experience watching and being part of this video be applied to if I want to get a job doing graphic design? I think it can, yes. Uh, I think Brilliant. I it... will now be professional graphic designer earning hundreds of thousands a year. Thank you to Kevin's Corner. Graphics designers really don't earn that much, but that's not the point. I will be a very good graphics designer because of Kevin's Corner. You're still not... Uh, like, you could be the best graphics designer in the world and you're not earning I'm that. shitting on yourself, Kevin. <laughs> well, okay. You can make millions of pounds, Charles. And if I any... will make millions of pounds. Thank you to the skills of Kevin's Corner. And if any of my viewers want to offer Charles a job, feel free. I really need a job. He really I have not written a CV yet and I'm almost graduated. Yeah, that, that sounds quite bad, but <laughs> that is not a problem related to this video, so we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks all. And we'll see you next time for how to draw a screwdriver in paint. Let's go with that. I Good can shove it up my ass. Sorry. Um... But yeah, we can shove it up Charles' ass as well once we're done. It's fine. Good Love night. it.